Warning. Although my content is usually family-friendly, Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB rating system, and as such, will contain blood, language, suggestive themes, and violence. Viewer discretion is advised. Are we ready to continue rising from the ashes of defeat, Marty? Yes. Are we? Yeah. <laughs> well, Marty and Marty are back for more Ace Attorney. So we're on the bonus case, I rise from the ashes, we talked to lunch lady yesterday. Uh, yeah, later, Angel Star. Alright, let's check out the High Prosecutor's Office, see what's, yeah. what's up here. She's been mentioning this. February 22nd, High Prosecutor's Office, room 1202. What a swanky place. Swanky is exactly the word I would use for this, as well as avant-garde. <laughs> <laughs> this is the kind of room that just screams, I can do the job. Quite a change from your office, really. Thanks. Look, look! There's a trophy or something here! A trophy? What, that shield? It takes real nerve to display stuff like this. Whoever's office this is, he must be a real stuck-up jerk. Mr. Phoenix Wright, <laughs> you never tire of prying into other people's business, do you? Of course it's Edgeworth's office! <laughs> that voice! It's Edgeworth! Long time no see, Edgeworth. Huh? You know him from somewhere? Uh, of course! I'm his biggest fan! My sister introduced us once and... Right. Her sister was the chief prosecutor, after all. Well, what brings you here? I'll warn you, I've been known to be a real stuck-up jerk. <laughs> no, did I? No! It was just Mr. Wright here, he... Hey! Don't blame me! We're, we're just here to investigate the murder case! Murder? A body was found in this nasty, bright red sports car in the parking lot. Hmm. That would be my car. What of it? Oh, check out that oh edge of face. He's, he's like trying to hide a laugh. That's amazing. <laughs> what? Y your car? I'll say one thing. She certainly can scream. Well, I'm trying not to scream too loud. Oh, well, yeah. All right. Let's talk to Edgeworth outside of court. So, the body was found in your car? Go ahead, say it right. You think I did it, don't you? After you went through all that trouble to help me last year, no <laughs> less? He seems in a better mood now, which is good. <laughs> no, we don't think you did it. I mean, it was my sister who stabbed him. Uh, oh, wait, no, she didn't do that. I mean... Wait. So you're the chief prosecutor's little sister, then? I yes, sir. And this guy. It, uh... It's nice to meet you again. Now that didn't sound forced at all. Ah, oh, now I remember. You've really grown. I'll admit, it was a surprise to me too. To think that my own car would become the scene of a murder. More surprising still. Now I'm forced to prove my superior's guilt. I can understand- w wait what did you say?! Lana Skye is the chief prosecutor. The top prosecutor in the district. She can't prosecute herself, so I'll be the prosecutor at the trial tomorrow. You? Mr. Edgeworth. Oh, yeah. No more murder for Von Karp. Honestly, honestly, I wanted <laughs> Lana to actually, like, prosecute herself and just be like, Hey, guys, I'm here. <laughs> Conflict of interest, Marty. That I would know. not work, but even in this screwed-up legal okay, system. But I would have <laughs> thought it would have been funny if she was like, Yeah, I'm gonna do that, and then showed up, tried to, and then Edgeworth was like, I'll be taking over for her. <laughs> like, oh, that would have been oh, funny. Oh, please. Edgeworth's not that dramatic. To be honest, it's a bit of a miracle I'm still here at all. What do you mean? Rumors. You've heard the rumors about me, haven't you? I mean, I guess. Miles Edgeworth. It's hard to remember a time when there weren't rumors about this guy. Forging evidence, arranging false test testimony, illegal searches, you name it. Thanks to you, my innocence was established in the trial at the end of last year. However, there are some who say I'm the one responsible for the current incident. What? That's crazy! Hmm. Side note, I kind of hate his hair. It's like really <laughs> awkwardly parted in the middle and he has like just bangs. And they're like... I think his hair's styling personally, but maybe that's I don't know. I, the back part's fine, I guess. But like the front, it's, it's the way it's, it's parted. This isn't even anime hair. I know, it's weird. Some people need very little excuse to think ill of others. It's a fact of life. Impossible to stop. But... 
Some of them even go so far as to present me with toys like this. They think it's funny. Toys? That bronze shield? There's gotta be a story behind that one. Chief Prosecutor Sky? Yes, we first worked together on a case two years ago. It was my first big case. That's right, I remember. Two years ago? I wasn't even a lawyer then. Since then, I've always felt that she was looking out for me. It appears I was mistaken. Mistaken? Why? I mean, I know she's not the warmest person. But I'm sure she felt some responsibility for you. Then, why? Why did she stab someone in the trunk of my car? Not only that, she stabbed him with my knife. Who keeps a knife in their back trunk? <laughs> what? Mr. Edgeworth, your knife was the murder weapon! <laughs> To be specific, it was the knife kept in the toolbox okay. in the also, trunk of my car. I'm trying to imagine, like, Edgeworth driving down the street, like, da 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 and then, like, there's someone in the trunk. Like, Lana <laughs> Sky in the trunk, just like, Ugh! like, stabbing someone. Okay, no, he parked. Oh, he parked. He parked, and okay. then somebody parked, killed the and guy then someone in his killed trunk. The guy. I was imagining, like, road chase, someone jumped into his <laughs> Well, trunk. I mean, I guess it could be. <laughs> I mean, we technically don't know that yet, but. That would have been great. <laughs> And also They're, like, fighting on the back of his car. And, like, he probably had just as a toolbox in his car, and a knife is a common... Still, that's a pretty sharp-looking knife. Oh, well, yeah. What if you need to, like, I don't know, cut a rope or something? Oh, yeah, because everyone needs or to Or slash rope someone's tires. Edgeworth's knife added to the court record. Um, Edgeworth? What? Are you sure you didn't do it? I mean, not really. <laughs> I'm kind of wondering myself. <laughs> Come on, can't you take a joke? You have a strange sense of humor, Mr. Wright. <laughs> I mean, it would be a very interesting twist if it's like, yeah, you defended him last case, and he actually did, did it this time. <laughs> it's possible. Let's check out the swanky coat. Wow! This jacket is even lacier than his usual ones. This must be his lucky trial jacket. Lucky jacket. Right. I've never seen him wear it. I'm sure there's a story behind why it's in the frame. Maybe I'll be naughty and take a picture. She's getting way too excited about this. Ooh, chess set. Hey, a chess board! I'm not too up on my chess, but it looks like blue's in a bit of a tight spot. The red knights have surrounded the blue pawn. Huh? Those horses are mounted knights. Their swords have really sharp edges. And check out that poor pawn. His head's kind of spiky. Kind of reminds me of you. Mr. Edgeworth must be an avid chess player. What's wrong, Mr. Wright? Edges? Surrounding a pawn with spiky hair? Nah, it's nothing. <laughs> that would have been amazing if he's just like, in his spare time, like, what does Edgeworth do for fun? He's like, oh, I'm gonna make Wright suffer. <laughs> like, just just psychological yeah. torment there. Uh, also, if there was a person in the whole world who would be an avid chess player, it would be Edgeworth. True. <laughs> Whoa! These are all case files? They're stacked up to the ceiling! There's even a ladder! Odd. I thought Edgeworth wasn't good with heights. He must have someone get them for him. <laughs> Strange. Why did I just picture Detective Gumshoe? I don't know. Why did you? <laughs> he must study these case reports so closely. He's so cool. I mean, he gets he gets Gumshoe to get the stuff high up for him because Gumshoe's his own personal slave, basically. <laughs> you wouldn't say that if you saw him sweating bullets up on that ladder. Ooh, Edgeworth's desk, nice and fancy. A work desk. It's quite tidy, as one might expect. I mean, there's junk all over it, but... Not really. That's more tidy than my desk. Your desk also has junk all over okay, it. Okay, but my desk, like, you can't really sit at. What a nice desk! Easy to use and easy on the eyes! Normally people don't say that about desks. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's polished so well I can see my own reflection. Strange. Why did I just picture Detective Gumshoe? Is Detective Sh Gumshoe like coming in like, let me shine your desk so I can get a promotion? Yeah, basically. <laughs> Except he's not doing it just to get a promotion. He's like, oh, I love Mr. Edgeworth. He's like super loyal to That's him. That's weird. Maybe I'll take that name pla plaque as a souvenir. Don't. He'll sue you. And then I'll have to pay for it. Like in last case. <laughs> Lotta Sky. My, my, my. Lotta Sky. Lotta. Lotta Heart. <laughs> I can't remember anything. My, 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 what an amazing bouquet! Just right for Mr. Edgeworth. No kidding. Hey, there's a card on it. Back from the dead. 
Wendy. <laughs> <laughs> Wendy? I've heard that name somewhere before. Wasn't she in Peter Pan? Beside it, a giant steel samurai. Wow, I want one. Huh? There's something written on the bottom of his foot. Between a rock and a hard place. Wendy. Wendy? Is she Mr. Edgeworth's fiance? <laughs> hey, shiny! <laughs> um, I don't think so. <laughs> oh yeah, and because he's got that Steel Samurai figurine in here, Ed that's actually a hint that Edgeworth himself is a huge Steel Samurai fan. That's really funny, because, like, he strikes me as the person who'd be watching, like, I don't know, Sherlock Holmes or something? Yeah, that's... And then, like, he's like, I really like Steel Samurai. <laughs> well, and that, I think, adds just a nice little bit of character where it's like, he's not super, like, above it all and, like, stern yeah. and all that. Like, he has his... I love size. kids' TV shows. I think it's great. Oh, kids' TV shows are the best. Also, there's foreshadowing for that in case he's free at the end when, like, Powers gets off. He's like, oh, uh, Mr. Powers, uh, I'm a huge fan of your work. And, it, like, everyone's like, liar! And then it's like, no, actually, he was telling the truth there. Edgeworth doesn't really go for the whole flattery thing. That's true. True. Ooh, cute! What a pretty tea set! I go more for the instant tea bags myself. Amazing! The drawer below is filled with back packets of tea leaves. They're all sorted by place of origin and flavor. Look at this royal blend! What an exquisitely splendid concoction! You're such a fan as taking a hobby too far. I don't know, <laughs> I like tea. Sick of tea? <laughs> That's exciting! You're sick of breathing! <laughs> Still not as bad as Leighton's tea obsession. Oh, I love Luke, my boy, boy, everyone knows tea is the perfect beverage for or, a gentleman. Don't yes. forget Harvest Moon 64. Oh, no, no, no. Don't mention that last point. <laughs> <laughs> that burned me so bad. Uh, I've, I've been wondering, what the heck is this? It has a big K on it. Mm, it's prosecutors. Huh? What's that? It's the King of Prosecutors trophy. K King of Prosecutors? It's a great honor. They send that shield to the best prosecutor each year. What? So? So that K, that's... K stands for king? Yeah, you got a problem with that? I didn't design the thing. King of prosecutors. Kind of like employee of the month, only better. King of prosecutors trophy added to the court right That's a really <laughs> weird trophy, though. <laughs> that's definitely going to be decisive evidence in the trial. Have you Somehow. Ever, have you ever won a trophy? Uh, do participation trophies count? Uh, maybe. Then yes. Okay. I've like medal. never won a trophy ever. Even part, I mean, par even participation I mean, ones. Actresses and actors don't really get trophies True. unless they're incredibly professional. Yeah, no, I didn't. Get Tony Award. That'd be amazing. Instead, you get the like terrible denim jacket for the local community theater. Hey, I wanted one of those and I didn't get it because I didn't stick with the theater group for too long. Yeah, th those looked a, uncomfortable, anyways. Yeah. Mr. Edgeworth has such a comfy sofa. Sofas like this make me want to curl up and take a nap. I bet he pours over his case files here until the wee hours of the morning. Then he takes off his jacket, rolls up his sleeves, and goes to sleep using his arms as a pillow. I don't believe it. She's actually daydreaming about Edgeworth working. <laughs> I bet in the morning he has sofa hair and little creases in his cheek from the seams. He's so cool. Sofa really hair weird. is cool? Emma's really weird. Emma's kind of got the young girl crush on Edgeworth, um, like, massively. Why do girls like him? Like the only I thing, don't know! The only thing that's good about him is, like, his little ruffle thing. It's called a cravat. Okay, well, I always forget what it's called. <laughs> oh, yeah, let's examine the attorney's badge. I don't think we did this last time. Eh, 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 oh. eh. So this is what the back of the badge looks like. I always thought it had a safety pin. Each badge has a number carved into it. That way, you can tell which attorney it belongs to. You mean, you couldn't lend your badge to anyone? No, I'd be found out right away. Well, that's no fun. Only if they look at the back of the badge. <laughs> oh, yeah. ID card, please. A name and ID number are written here. Detective Bruce Goodman, ID number 5842189. I wonder why they only use numbers for IDs. What else would they use? Letters, silly! They're the reason we have a written language in the first place. True. Detective Bruce Goodman. ID, Yabba Dab. See? Wouldn't that be better? Yabba Dab? Well, it does have a certain ring to it. Exactly my point! <laughs> it doesn't take much to amuse her. 
I kind of agree with her. Yeah, 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 Honestly, I kind of agree with her because ID numbers are really boring. There's, yeah, it's basically so people can't memorize it. Well, memorize them easily, even though that probably is a bad thing. Edgeworth's got a pretty hey, sweet knife, knife with oh, fresh blood, blood stain on it. And blood and guts and everything. <laughs> this must be the victim's blood, right? Either that or Edgeworth cut himself peeling an apple. <laughs> Edgeworth's like, <laughs> 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 just like bleeding everywhere. <laughs> That's you. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I spaced out there. What's Edgeworth doing with a knife like this anyway? Hey, maybe he spends his weekends roughing it in the wild. Edgeworth? In the wild? I think my fruit peeling theory is more likely. Are you kidding? I always pictured him as an outdoors man. Now there's a scary thought. <laughs> Edgeworth the lumberjack. <laughs> uh, can we not? <laughs> Is there- I wonder if there's like a shortcut to do these scroll wheels. Ooh. Maybe I have to click. Plaque at the bottom! Hey, check it out! There's a metal plate here! Hmm. It looks like the names of all the previous recipients are engraved on it. Wow. One guy's listed a bunch of times. Von Karma. I guess he must be a foreigner? Uh, yeah. That's probably it. Well, wherever he's from, he must have been an amazing prosecutor. I'd like to meet this Mr. Von Karma sometime. When she says it, his name does kind of have a ring to it. <laughs> well, with a name like Von Karma, that's definitely a German name. Mm -hmm. Oh well. Hey, check it out, Edgeworth, it's my attorney's badge. I once dreamed of being in a defense attorney a long time ago. What? You wanted to be a defense attorney, Mr. Edgeworth? Yet my path is laid out clearly before me. I have no time to reflect on what might have been. Aw, oh, man. You're still new to your career, you can swatch, or switch. Say, Edgeworth, I was wondering about this. Mr. Wright! Huh? What? Are you sure you should be showing that to Mr. Edgeworth? Oh, he'll take it for sure, won't he? <sighs> I wish I could be on the same side as Mr. Edgeworth. But then my sister would be found guilty. If she sighs any deeper, I'm going to start getting depressed. Hey, Edgeworth, where'd you get this knife? It's against my policy to discuss evidence with the defense. Especially with you. He doesn't like you very much, does he, Mr. Wright? Nah, with Edgeworth it's never personal. It's all about winning tomorrow. Hmm, really? So, in other words, you were the best of the best this year, huh? You can take that foolish grin <laughs> elsewhere, Wright! <laughs> The, of, like, all, the best. of all the Edgeworth poses, this is probably my favorite, at least in, as far as the investigation poses go. I lost a day of work to receive that travesty. Huh? Why is that? I had to go to the police department ceremony to receive that broken shield. The police department? Yes, right next to the police station downtown. You've been there, correct? Where Detective Gumshoe works? Yeah. Um, I was wondering something about your shield. Why is it broken? What does it matter? I've got more important things to worry about. Edgeworth was just like <laughs> smashing against the wall like this piece of junk! I hate him! It's all Obi-Wan's fault! It's Joe's! He's holding me back! Oh, right. He doesn't seem too concerned about his award, for better or for worse. Can we take it? <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday was a very busy day for the prosecutor's office. Yeah, someone died. <laughs> Maybe we should ask him more about yesterday? So, Edgeworth, tell us all about the Prosecutor of the Year Awards. And the winner of the Prosecutor of the Year Awards goes to... <laughs> Edgeworth! <laughs> so, could you tell me more about yesterday, the day of the murder? Yesterday was the annual cleaning day at the Prosecutor's Office. Oh, strap in. This is going to be exciting. Oh boy, spring cleaning. Cleaning day? Working with the police department, we sort and file all evidence for solved oh. cases. I was imagining, like, Edgeworth with, like, a duster, like... <laughs> Got to meticulously dust everything in the police department. No, they don't dust there. That's true. They can oh, hire cleaning when, people. For when when Varn Karma like basically zapped us, like everything was super dusty. So that makes <laughs> That's sense. true. Working with the police department, we sort and file all evidence for solved cases. We call it evidence transferal. Oh boy. That's an orange, so you know it's going to be important. Wiping your hands of old cases, in other words. Oh, and another thing. A ceremony was held at the police department. For you! There's an annual review and awards for outstanding pro police officers and prosecutors. And that's when you got... The Shield? 
I was at the police department yesterday afternoon. I got back here at 5.12. That's... very precise. People like myself and Mr. Edgeworth pride ourselves on our precision, Mr. Wright. No, I place little faith in my memory. The only thing I trust is solid evidence. Edgeworth's parking stub added to the court record. He just gave Question. us his old parking I wanna stub. I want to see, okay. can we see the um, person who died? Oh, yeah, sure. On the court record? Um, maybe? No, we actually don't have the guy's profile Dang yet. It? I was wondering if he, like, died because of loss of blood, or if he died instantaneously, or whatever. Uh, have we'll have to figure that out once we get the autopsy okay. report. I have a theory, and if it's correct, I'm going to be like, are you kidding me? What's your theory? Murder weapon was not the knife. It was the trophy, and they were just like, ugh, and then, like, someone... <laughs> I mean... And then it... after he was dead, someone stabbed him. Interesting. Okay. That could be. Miles Edgeworth, 712. This is dated the day of the crime. No, oh. 1712. It's military time. Oh, I, I don't like military time. Okay, it's, well, it's needlessly confusing. 20, 20 is 8 p.m., so that means it would have been about 5 p.m. Yeah, I know military time. I just misread it as 7. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> The murder took place three minutes after Edgeworth parked his car. When did when did he die? Was it the We 21st? don't really know yet. Um, he died the same day Edgeworth got the award. Okay. If only he was held up at a couple extra red lights. He wouldn't have been caught up in this whole affair. Perhaps. It just goes to show you never know what'll happen if you run a red a yellow light. <laughs> Or run a red light. You never know. Well, you don't want to do that either. This is the. I've had, I've had stuff like that too, where I I remember once I was like trying to merge lanes, and then four cars ahead of me, someone crashed, and I was like, I could have gone ahead four places, but I decided to wait. <laughs> yep. Wow. Like just, just yeah. Thinking. It's Butterfly nice. effect. This is the parking stub from the underground lot. The murder took place around 5:15. So the murder happened right after you got back. What? Right. I'd appreciate it if you direct that suspicious glare elsewhere. I still would like <gasps> to... <gasps> what? Oh, yes. Um! <laughs> what? Who is this? <laughs> Excuse me, but is Mr. Edgeworth uh, anywhere on the premises, sir? <laughs> Do you know who this is? <laughs> is this the bailiff? <laughs> is it? Okay. You tell me this reminds you of somebody. Come on. <laughs> I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm okay, looking. Okay, maybe we'll just continue the pro- the, I think- Okay. Alright. He, he, he reminds me of someone from Up on Poppy Hill. Remember the- Oh. Remember the philosophy oh. club dude that's like, It is the pride of this club! And like, he's I got the weird face. I suppose, but- That, that okay, was my immediate thought. That, if you're talking that's about not someone mine. from our church. Yeah. I, I'll think about it. I'm Edgeworth. What is it? I'm here, sir! At the request of the chief, sir! I've got your report, sir! Report? What? Did you find new evidence in the case against Chief Prosecutor Sky? I don't like the way this conversation is going at all. Er, Sky, sir? No, sir! No name of that kind, sir! Not in this report, sir! I think I just heard Edgeworth's lid blow. <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth's lid isn't on very tight, is it? I made a clear request to the police department, did I not? I need to focus on the trial tomorrow, so don't bring me anything unrelated. Sir! But, but, sir! Also, I'm just following orders, sir! They okay. told me to bring this to okay, you! I'm trying to look and see. The other person it reminds me of is, you know in Twilight Princess where, like, the mailman comes and he can, like, walk off a cliff? The he, you think he's the mailman from Zelda? <laughs> he looks a bit like that, where he's like, Okay, eh, okay. Da, 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 da. Come on! This is totally... Okay, that was my other... Yeah. <laughs> he's black hair, that was what was throwing me off. I, I guess, okay, but it's like, he's got the big ear... He's basically... <laughs> if he was incompetent. Okay, wow. Look... <laughs> I think the main thing is that since I was so little at church, like, I more saw when he was, like, the serious mm -hmm. guy, so I didn't really know him as much as a kid. Okay, or younger. fair enough. But, that, but I could see that. I could see that for <laughs> sure. I wasn't aware of the particulars of your arrangement with us, so give me your name! Uh, uh, yes, yes, sir! Uh, oh, Meekin, oh, sir! Meekin. Officer Meekins! Woo! Wait, what? How do yeah, you know I've heard this? Yeah, I've heard of him somewhere. I've heard of That's his name. That's weird, because I don't know he's why. a really obscure character. You see the character. bailiff? No. Okay. <laughs> He's a policeman. Can't you I know see by his outfit? The... Yeah. Okay. <laughs> right, Officer Meekins, take your report and leave. And good luck with that raise next month. Oh gosh. <laughs> but, but sir, uh, I d didn't know. Poor guy. Looks like he was absent on the day they gave out brains and good luck. Oh God. Whoa, Phoenix. Phoenix. <laughs> Savage. <laughs> He's 
he seems very nice. A little scatterbrained, but nice. Right. Y yes, sir! Gah! He caught me off guard! As you can see, I'm busy. You may leave now. He's like, I have to go back and play chess. <laughs> let's, let's do what he says, Mr. Wright. The victim was a detective from the same department as that patrolman just now. Go down to the police department. You can ask more there. Why is he helping us? Uh, thanks. He seems to have finally calmed down, at least. Yeah, Edgeworth, Edgeworth's busy. He needs to update some autopsy reports. Da, da, would you she's like a like, lunch to She's like, I'm wearing onigiri on my head. February 22nd, police department entrance. Wait, is that the monkey? Mr. Monkey? Mr. Nope. Monkey? But like a new weird creature? Maybe. Whew, finally here. Why would they put the detective so far away from the prosecutor's office? That took almost 30 minutes by taxi, and traffic wasn't even that bad. This is my first time to the police department, actually. Huh? Hold on, what's that? What the? <laughs> Told you there was better Disturbing. animation. Disturbing! Why does it undulate like undulate. that? Undulate. <laughs> undulate. <laughs> oh, wait, I know. This is the blue badger. It's not a badger! <laughs> They're trying to make him the police mascot. He doesn't look a thing like a badger, looks, but whatever. He literally looks like a, um, a Teletubby. <laughs> yeah, quite a bit. With a crown. Teletubbies meets Katamari. <laughs> Wow, Mr. Wright, you know a lot about the police department. Still, he does seem familiar somehow. Forget the blue badger. Who's that next to him? Someone appears to be dancing with the blue badger. I swear if it's Larry, that'll be amazing. <laughs> Uh-oh, he noticed me. He sure is running over here fast. <laughs> hey, pal! What are you doing here? <laughs> Officer Gumshoe's just like... Duh, 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 duh. <laughs> That's my line, Detective Gumshoe. Specifically, why were you dancing over there? What? Oh, um, well... Well, at least he doesn't seem to be busy. This is our chance to get information. Hey! I'll have you know I'm a very busy man, pal! Busy dancing! Oh, yeah! Dun, 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 dun. Detective, here's my attorney's badge! You show this to me every time we meet, pal! Real men show their police badge! Enough said! I wish I had a badge. Even an ID card would be nice. They don't have Wait. them at school? For her? That's weird. I have an ID no. card. Oh, that's odd. Wait. Speaking of ID cards, I found that detective's card, didn't I? Yeah, you wanna show it? Why are we showing the parking stuff? <laughs> found in Mr. Edgeworth's car, stabbed with Mr. Edgeworth's knife, huh? What would drive Ch Chief Prosecutor Sky to do such a thing? W wait I didn't mean- I mean, sure, of course it's someone else who really did it. Someone who must have, um... Someone who must have a grudge against Mr. Edgeworth! The car and the knife do seem a little too well organized to be a coincidence. Poor Mr. Edgeworth. What could have happened? We have to find out a little more about what's going on with Edgeworth. But that's hard, because he's Edgeworth. Yeah. Hey, look at this! Hey, that's it! That's the King of Prosecutors Award that Mr. Edgeworth got yesterday! Were you at the awards ceremony, Detective Gumshoe? Of course, pal! I got an award for diligence myself! Aha! Congratulations! Is it a big D? <laughs> <laughs> that's the thing! Like, what is it supposed to be? I was wondering, why is the award a shield? And why is it broken? Oh, there's a reason. Um, I'll tell you what it is later. Uh... Apparently he's forgotten. <laughs> but I was proud of Mr. Edgeworth for winning that award. He hasn't even got naysayers in the prosecutor's office. Yeah, we've heard about the rumors. It makes sense. Um, Detective Gumshoe, what can you tell me about this? Huh? Hey, pal! This is a detective's ID card! You can't just keep that! You have to turn it into the police! It's people like you that get me into so much trouble all the time! Meaning Detective Gumshoe must drop his card a lot. <laughs> hmm, let's see. Bruce Goodman. Goodman? Sounds familiar. Nah, my mistake. Oh. But don't you work together with him in Criminal Affairs? Whoa! Now I remember! Bruce Goodman! He's the victim! That's what I thought. <laughs> you called it. Can you tell us more, Detective Gumshoe? I mean, who else? Why else would they just be like, here's an ID card? Oh, wow. A lot of stuff. <laughs> Let's talk. I'll give you one word of advice, pal. You better not agree to defend the suspect in this case. What? Well, why not? Huh? 
Well, it's just that the chief prosecutors could confess to the crime. She Why says she summoned the detective to the prosecutor's office and she Why killed him. Why does he look like the white mafia? Like, he's wearing all <laughs> white. <laughs> I don't know. I, I like his beard, though. Yeah, it looks nice. But what if she's not telling the truth? Yes, well... No, come on, pal! There's plenty of evidence against her. But what if the evidence was faked? Hey, pal, can I speak to you for a second? Okay, I'm really curious about this. Normally, I feel like, in general life, if you were like, yeah, I did this crime, they'd just be like, alright, put you in jail. Like, <laughs> they wouldn't have a trial, which is weird. No, I think they would. Maybe, they, maybe they would still, I don't yeah. know. Huh? Me? Why is this little girl so peeved at me? She's a relative of the suspect, Wanna Sky's sister. Whoa! The chief prosecutor's little sister! Just please investigate this case carefully, okay? Scientifically? Y yes, sir! Oh, by the way, you might want to keep your voices down. You don't want to be overheard using words like, faked. Huh? It's just, it's a sensitive issue with us these days. Interesting. So, what are you doing here, Detective Gumshoe? Me? Oh, well, nothing, really. To kick me out of criminal affairs. Detective Gumshoe, what did you do this time? What do you mean, this time? <laughs> then, what happened? I know things are busy right now. I mean, with my sister's case and all. It's true. We've never had a chief prosecutor murder anyone before. I hope not! <laughs> Only the highest ranked people are being led into criminal affairs now. The lowest ranking guy in there is our chief of detectives. They're not letting any of us rank and file detectives in at all. None of you? I know this is an important trial, but isn't that a little odd? So anyway, I thought I'd spend the day getting the badger dance down pat. <laughs> wow. Um, isn't there anything else you could be doing? The chief of police himself is directing this investigation, pal. And Officer Marshall was assigned to the underground parking lot. Officer Marshall... Now that I think about it, Emma did seem to know that Marshall guy. A patrolman in charge of a crime scene. It's unheard of, pal! Bruce Goodman. So, this ID card belonged to the victim? He was a detective like myself. Detective Bruce Goodman. Hmm, don't you think it's strange? I mean, why would the victim's ID card be lying on the ground where we found it? Well, Detective Goodman should have been at the police department yesterday. There was an evidence transfer for a case he handled two years ago. Evidence transfer? Mr. Edgeworth mentioned that too. But Detective Gumshoe was killed at the prosecutor's office. Goodman, Marty, <laughs> Gumshoe was not killed. I am messing up everything. <laughs> I just, I just wanted to say so people aren't like, wait, why Gumshoe died? Gumshoe's not dead, guys. Gumshoe's not dead. Well, that's the thing. It's hard to say this, but. Where does the Chief Prosecutor Sky call them out there, to the parking lot? And Lana's confessing as much. Great. I wonder why she called him out there. Yeah. He's in a tough spot. Again. Again. Yeah, no kidding. Well, it all started with the murder of that defense attorney, Hammond. But Edgeworth was found innocent! Listen, pal, there have always been rumors about Edgeworth. Forging evidence, making deals with witnesses, nothing outright, but there were always whispered rumors. Ever since he was accused of murder, no one's whispering. They're practically shouting! But... but there's no evidence against him! Well, Mr. Edgeworth has always had unusually strong ties to the department higher-ups. It's only natural that people would be suspicious. I had no idea he was under the gun. Anyway, this latest case has started a new rumor. People say the only reason he took this case is because he's aiming for the chief prosecutor position himself. I can see that. W what? But I know the truth, pal! Nobody wants to be the one who has to prosecute the chief prosecutor. Mr. Edgeworth is biting the bullet on this one. He's doing this all for us. Oh. Alright. Gumshoe, yeah, he's, he's definitely like, Edgeworth's the man. Let's look at the blue badger. Uh, I was wondering about that. What? The dancing blue badger? It's my masterpiece! He made it. <laughs> I mean, it's not bad. You made this Detective Gumshoe? The Chief threw together some designs, and I just did my thing, pal! Nice work. It's battery-powered, so it can go anywhere! There's no switch, so it just dance, dance, dances until the batteries die. 
Poor Blue Badger. Fated to dance until he drops. Blue Badger added to the court record. That would suck. Also, that'd be really annoying if you're like, oh, I need to go into the police department at night. It's just like, and you're like, that, okay. that would be like getting stuck on Small World at Disney. Yes! Or like all Pirates the, of the Caribbean. And all the music cuts out, so it's just the dolls like, that would be creepy. That's that's yeah. on my list of like worst rides to get stuck on, along with Pirates of the Caribbean, if they left the music on. Which yo, my friend, my friend yo, had that happen. Pirates, my friend had that happen. She was stuck on it for three hours. And they that's let bad. It, it was bad, so it's she never sings the song anymore. Um, yeah, that and Haunted Mansion wouldn't be fun. Haunted Mansion could be cool, but also it would ruin would cool. the illusion for sure. Haunted Mansion will be cool once your eyes adjust, because then like it'd be like, oh, I can see more things. I guess. Anyways, back to the case. And that's all I know about that. I'm not officially on the case, you know. Thank you. Why aren't you handling this case, Detective Gumshoe? We met the guy who is. What was his name? The guy in the parking lot? That'd be Officer Marshall. He was appointed directly by the Chief of Police. I wonder if he and Meekins know each other. Maybe. Officer Marshall? Is he some kind of Wild West sheriff or something? No, Jake Marshall's just a regular officer. From West L.A. Wow. For a moment there, I wasn't sure. <laughs> Look, pal, let me try to make things a little easier for you. Show them this, and they'll let you examine the crime scene. Maybe. Letter of introduction from Detective Ooh. Gumshoe added to the court record. Good thing he wrote that up already. Yeah. I'll be surprised if this gets us anywhere. Just act like you're supposed to be there, and nobody will look at you twice, pal. <laughs> not sure if that's a good thing. I always get excited when I come to the police station. Why is that? It just feels like I've jumped into a movie. Huh? You know, all the police and criminals. Well, well I don't know if this is all that exciting. Sure it is. Look at those two officers over there. They're probably talking about the latest bust. Funny. I thought they were talking about the Weber. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Let's look at them. Look, that patrolman is saluting the other guy. He must be a detective. And then I said, Hey, you do that and your soup will get cold, buddy. <laughs> Th that's hilarious, sir. I laughed so hard I cried. <laughs> I guess he wasn't saluting. He was wiping tears from his eyes. <laughs> they make a good pair. <laughs> that's good, though, if you're, like, police who can just laugh and make yeah. good, most of it. Mr. White, do you know why patrol cars are painted black and white? I don't, actually. No idea. Why? Well, I think they're designed after a panda. A panda? Not that I have scientific proof. It's just a theory. Um, do you mind me asking how you came up with that theory? It was when I was on a school trip. I saw a patrol car, and then it came to me. We had just been at the zoo, see? What about zebras? Or did they not have those at your zoo? <laughs> <laughs> I wonder why they are painted black and white. Maybe because maybe it's like... It stands out. Maybe. Okay, I'm so glad we broke this up into two of uh, videos. I'm like, I bet we could do a lot of this all in one video. So, no, Artie, what were you even thinking? Yep. <laughs> the banner here is announcing the crime fighting campaign. Nice slogan. I wonder if they'll be selling fingerprint sets. I don't think it's that kind of campaign. What family would, wouldn't want a set at home? It's good for finding out who snuck into the cookie jar. Very true. <laughs> I think most families can figure that out without the extra help. Yep. It's always Artie. No, it's always me. <laughs> Actually, it's pretty much okay. all of the kids equally. True. <laughs> but the adults always knew who, who did it. I mean, I'm a, I'm a freaking grown adult now. If I want cookies, Okay, I'm... well, you can do that. <laughs> right. But I'm saying, like, when we were kids, like, everyone, they could just tell. Yeah. The usual wanted posters are hanging up on the bulletin board here. Her. Do you know this face? If you do, dial 911. You know, Mr. Wright, I always thought it was kind of funny. I've never seen anyone who looked like the people on these posters. They hardly even look human. She has a point. Yeah, they're always like, <laughs> and The mugshot, like, yeah. They got, like, bars on their shirt. <laughs> we can't actually, like check things out there, but it sure does look cool. Oh, let's read it. Hey, look here! It looks like something's been erased. Maybe it was a letter or something to Detective Gumshoe. Let's see. Annual bonus. Twenty dollars. Um, I think a couple zeros are missing. No, that sounds about right. 
At least in that detective's case. Wow! Maybe I should rethink my career as an investigator. <laughs> yeah, the detectives are woefully underpaid in this. Which That's is sad. Which is very sad. Let's go back to the office! Does she have anything new to say? Nope. Okay. Had to check. She's like, why are you right. all the way back Underground here? parking lot. <laughs> February 22nd, Prosecutor's Office. Underground parking lot. This is gonna be fun. Looks like the investigation is still going. Oh, uh... Who is I can't. I can't remember if this is Angel Star or Jake Marshall. I'll just say it and then it'll, yeah. be, it'll be obvious. I have to be getting back to the shop. Sorry, looks like I'll be stuck in <laughs> yeah, this pit, pit till the, the sun, sun sleeps. <laughs> I'll see you in my dreams tonight then, baby. Oh boy. <laughs> Oh, still here. Ah, uh, hello. Why the surprised looks? Didn't I mention? I've got a boyfriend in the criminal affairs, too. Oh, gosh. Um, okay, Angel Star just went really far down in my <laughs> top characters. Oh. <laughs> what happened to the security guard? <laughs> hey, what's wrong, Bambina? You're looking like a doggy that's lost its herd. Jake Marshall. Strange guy to put in charge of a crime scene. Why does he- <laughs> I can't believe they don't have rules That is, That is, code. without a doubt, the manliest way you can possibly shave. Also, it's gotta be the most painful. It's like that thing from Sheldon where they're like, the only way that you can look manly now is yeah. to eat the apple, <laughs> apple off the pocket knife way. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Officer Marshall, could you take a look at this? Whoa, partner. If you're fixing to draw on me, you'd best be ready for a shootout. You ready to become food for the vultures, compadre? Are you ready, Mr. Wright? Somehow, I don't think he's going to help us. Yeah, he's not going to be very helpful. There's something I wanted to ask you. The scene of the crime. A cold grave for men who've lost their dreams. And me, I watch over them as they sleep. Dream of, of the desert's harsh judgment. She's really just asking, like, Why does this place not have a dress code? <laughs> All detectives have to wear polo shirts and suits, I don't know. He's asleep. Well, should we show this hopeless case something to catch his interest? Yeah, he will literally just say that stuff until we actually present him the letter of introduction. Yo. Would you mind reading this for me? What's this? I warn you, fan letters for me go straight to the spittoon. It's a letter of introduction from Detective Gumshoe. May we investigate? Gumshoe? Ah, that old cow dog. Hmm. He holding a birthday party or something? Huh? Look, where it says. What is in the middle? <laughs> where it <laughs> should say it, like... letter of introduction, it says invitation. Ah. I think he just miswrote it. Great, Detective Gumshoe, I owe you one! <laughs> no worries, this proves it's from Detective Gumshoe better than a blood test. True. <laughs> Guess I'd better let you in then. Letter of invitation. Thank you, Officer Marshall. Officer Marshall isn't a detective. He's a patrolman. That reminds me of something. This is odd. Isn't a crime scene supposed to be handled by a detective or higher? Well, folks, the clues are calling. Welcome to our gold strike. He's like, I'm gonna kill you. Be like the settler. Strike out for the lands unknown. Manifest destiny. Let's have a hoot nanny. Woo! <laughs> well, how'd you like to have hoot nanny, nanny Wario? <laughs> oh, man. Note to self. Police investigations are like settling land. Well, Mr. Wright, what do you say? I say I won't be needing this anymore. Detective Gumshoe's letter of introduction crumpled and discarded. Wow. <laughs> I'll see your badge. Looks pretty round. Our badge is a star. A lone star shining in the nighttime sky. Oh my gosh. A beam of light illuminating evildoers who come into the dark of night. Something tells me these games just get weirder and weirder. They do. <laughs> As time goes on where it's like, I, I'm trying to think of like, of how weird the victims might get. Or not victims, the like defendants. defendants. <laughs> oh, just you wait, Marty. Well, in the 3DS one, you said something like, that was really, like a dude from jail or whatever that like, didn't use his hands. Who, what? It was, it was, no, it was that's the M-rated the... one. He was like crazy or something. Um, I, don't know. I think you're thinking of Tales of Symphonia, the guy no. who's handcuffed and cooks with his feet. No, not that guy. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. And no. I can't spoil anything That's for you, fine. anyways. Note to self e evildoers are weak against Starlight. Hey, that's a sheriff's badge! <laughs> <laughs> I 
What's that? Some sort of police passport? This is Detective Goodman's ID card. Strangely enough, we found it a good distance away from the crime scene. Good distance? In this rat hole? You want distance? Get yourself to Texas. <laughs> Texas? This is a tiny little crime scene in a tiny little town with tiny little evidence. I wonder evidence. In, the Japan ver- in, in the Japanese version where they're like, go to Texas, and they're like, that's kind of like 5,000 miles away. <laughs> I don't know. Or where they like, go to Osaka or something. I don't know. What difference does a few yards make, compadre? Note to self, if you encounter suspicious evidence, think of Texas. <laughs> There's no better way to study than to hang out with the pros. <laughs> I would absolutely use that. Think of Texas. <laughs> All right, compadre, count to three. Huh? You gotta do that if you're going to draw evidence on someone. That's what we do in Texas. <laughs> you remind me to never visit Texas. <laughs> I, I would visit Texas, just not in the dead Texas. of summer. I've never been. Ah, toy shield suits the boy well. What exactly could you shield with that? A toy knight, maybe? Officer Marshall, don't you have anything good to say about Mr. Edgeworth? You don't like him, right? We get the point. You know, when I was a detective, I got one of these. Hmm, let me guess. Did it have a K for the King of Detectives on it? Hey, they could use the same shield over and over. Note to self, the prosecutor's office and criminal affairs are surprisingly cheap. You know it. They've gotten cheaper with every passing year, I tell you. <laughs> wow. 5.12 p.m. The prospector's rat, brat red steed came in at a trot real slow back. <laughs> he didn't ride a horse. <laughs> oh, I can picture Edgeworth riding a horse. He seems like too. an equestrian. No, if Edgeworth was like thrown in the 1800s, I'd be like, all right, like he could do it. A trot? Mama Donna tells me the crime occurred three minutes later. So it seems the chief prospector was lying in wait. Maybe waiting for her prince to ride in on his brat red horse. So what you mean is, the killer intended to use Edgeworth's car all along. Hmm. Be good. Maybe they had another... <laughs> oh, he doesn't want the poop at you. <laughs> Alright. That's fair. What? Officer Marshall, could you tell us more about the victim? Good men always die young. Remember that, partner. Um, could you be a little more specific? <laughs> Bruce Goodman. He was a detective, right? Well, well, aren't you a feisty doge there? Detective Goodman was stabbed here at 515. The smiling Madonna told me the tale. I think he means the wait- witness, Miss Angel Star. No, I think he meant Madonna. <laughs> <laughs> One stab to the chest. A fine piece of work. Uh, this here's the autopsy report. What? We just get it? Let's <laughs> yeah! look at it. No, let's look at it, man. Was my sister involved with the victim in any way? Shut up, Adam. Goodman's we autopsy report. All right, death, death due to loss, loss of blood, blood, one knife wound, died within an hour okay, and a half so we, of 4 p.m. So we could have gotten struck by the trophy, potentially. Could be another case of, like, clock. How are you going to stab someone through the chest with a shield? No, I'm saying you knock him out with the trophy and then you stab him. Oh, okay. That's also, possible. Also, second That's option, possible. Second option that I've had in my head is, um, Angel Star. She's like, <laughs> and she, she maybe she has, you know, she cooks. She has knives. And it's like, oh, why is your knife, like, covered in, like, red? She's like, oh, That's I, was ketchup. Just, I was just slicing tomatoes. Like, <laughs> that, I could totally... Yeah, that could be... Well, I mean, tomatoes are very liquidy and blood is a lot thicker than that. How and do you a, slice different... ketchup? Well, I don't know. Maybe she was spreading putting, spreading was ketchup on a burger on or something. I don't know. <laughs> Funny you should mention that, Bambina. Chief Prospector Sky and Detective Goodman had nothing in common at all. Nothing in common? They apparently worked together on a case a few years back. So there's no motive. Goodman wasn't a particularly gifted detective. That's one reason why he didn't do much work with the Chief Prospector. But my sister called the victim here on the day of the murder, right? Here, to this parking lot. So it seems. Like calling an unarmed man to a shootout at high noon. Okay. Stag man Marshall. Um, I don't mean any offense, but... Officer Marshall, you're a patrolman, right? Not a detective. You call me out, they shoot you for that in Texas. <laughs> <laughs> huh? I was one of them fancy shoot detectives till two years ago, to tell you the truth. Oh, really? Now he tells me. He's like, then I got fired. But you're a patrolman now, so how can you be in charge of a crime scene? 
Nothing gets by you, does it, Bambina? Yes, right. So, why are you in charge? Because no reason. Died. We're just short on hands right now. I'm keeping an eye out in the meantime. Yeah, probably Goodman was in charge, and then they were like, well, he's dead. Uh, we got what? this sombrero we're, not, we're definitely not putting Gumshoe in charge. No. <laughs> That's odd, though. Detective Gumshoe was saying he had nothing to do. Nothing important, at least. He's nothing but a sad old cow dog that can't find his tail. Well, that's a bit harsh. Maybe it's because he runs with that Edgeworth, eh? Edgeworth? That cow dog's been kicked out of this cattle run by order of the chief of police. Just, he don't realize it yet. Detective Gumshoe kicked out of the investigation? Well, they probably he probably knows Edgeworth pretty well, and then they're like, Hey, maybe don't work on this. Yeah. Oh. I can see that. Oh, no, he has nothing to say about the autopsy. What we're doing All right, this. let's examine. Finally. We can finally examine the car. Let's look at the broken car. This appears to be the car where the body was found. It looks like the lock on the trunk is busted. The crime took place in the underground parking lot at the prosecutor's office. The body was found in the trunk of my subordinate's car. 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 In his it car. Is card. That's a big car. Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I've not seen that show. Quite a luxury car. It just screams, I have money to burn. Yeah. Prosecutors get the big bucks. Unlike defense attorneys. <laughs> B block is through here. That's where visitors park. I can see the lunch land, the lunch land car over there, far in the distance. Hey, you're right. I like the cute design of the door. I can see a cartoon cow munching down on a juicy looking steak. Um! Doesn't that strike you as a little creepy? Yes! Just Holy don't think cow. too deeply about it and you'll be fine. <laughs> like, I, I, I am creeped out when it's like, oh, like Uncle Joe's homemade sausage and like a pig is like, <laughs> on the front. Like, um, no, no, why is the pig the little, advertising that? You know the little that? dancing mascots that are like, come to our store, and it's like, buy my milk, buy my beef, and I'm like, yeah. it's a cow. <laughs> so That's why I like Chick-fil-A. It's, Chick it's all like, chicken, but it's advertised by cows. It's like, yeah, eat the chicken. I'm like, I don't want to die. And you're like, all right. This is, oh, never mind. Boop, 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 doo, doo. Oh, I love Marshall's music, though. A. This looks like a cell phone. Scientific analysis would suggest that this belongs to the vi victim. Well, I cannot talk. I can't think of anyone else it could belong to. What's so scientific about that? Should we check it out? Yeah. <laughs> check it out? Forget it, kid. <laughs> On second thought, let's not. What? Why not? I mean, don't you want to know whose it is? Probably one of the detectives dropped it. Come on! No detective would be that dumb. <laughs> I don't know. One detective in particular comes to mind. <laughs> I'm so glad we chose that option. <laughs> right. Let's check it out. We'll be like, hold on, Bambina. <laughs> you That's got a license for that? <laughs> we'll kill you for that in Texas. <laughs> Man, what a boring strap. What's wrong with it? Everyone has different tastes, you know. Here, check out mine. It's a pink princess strap. These are hard to come by, you know. I see he's as popular as ever with the kids. He? he? Pink princess is a guy in drag? Scandalous. Oh, <laughs> I mean, I would not expect a drag queen, but all right. Oh. Ooh. Blue SD card. Or maybe not. Hmm, the display is still on the redial button. Redial? Um, Mr. Wright, most phones keep a record of all the calls you've made and received. Yep, well, at least <laughs> older phones. You just press the blue button to dial the last number you called. Convenient, isn't it? I'm surprised you didn't know about it. Yeah, it's convenient until you accidentally push it because your thumbs are too big for the keyboard. <laughs> Which I do all thumbs. the time. I don't really have big thumbs, though. You have though. bigger thumbs than me. Yeah, that's because I'm a dude and you're not. <laughs> okay, well... I'm sorry to disappoint you, but even I know about things like redial. Huh? Oh, I'm sorry. It's just, you never know with people from your generation. Whatever. Let's check this phone out. Let's redial. Now, I wonder who the owner of this phone called last. Note to self, a defense attorney doesn't think first. He just pushes the button. Hey! hey! Hey, that song! I know that! That was the Blue Badger theme. 
No, this is the Steel Samurai theme. Oh, never mind, you're right. Hey, what's going on over there? Ah! Oh, sorry. I see you, partner. You pressed redial on that there phone, didn't you? Whoa, whoa, what are you uh, thinking is in my well, phone? Well, yeah. Whose phone is this anyway? It was on the ground over there. Whose is it? That belongs to Chief Prospector Sky. What? It's my sister's? I feel like she would have recognized it. She apparently dropped it when she was taken into custody right after the crime. Look, the last call was made right when the murder occurred. Looks like she was fixing to call someone. Except she only spoke for a few seconds, according to this. Who did she call? No idea. Sorry, partner. Now I got a question for you, partner. I heard a phone ring just now. One of those newfangled ringtones. Oh, that... Oh, I'm sorry. That was my phone. What? Your phone? Yeah, uh, it's kind of strange, but... Someone called me right as we picked up the other phone. A wrong number. I hope you're not lying. They shoot you for that in Texas, <laughs> partner! It's like you lie in Texas <laughs> dead. Uh-oh, I've, in I've incited the wrath of the Lone Star Patrolman. <laughs> Cell phone added to the court record. Let's just, like, take it with us and then, like... <laughs> sure. And then we can redial. Oh, do let's do. check the A. This rope, is it? Yep. They laid it in the outline of the victim's body. So wait. The victim must have died when the killer closed the trunk on him. You've got to be the only person I know that would come to that conclusion. <laughs> I mean, you can die from having the trunk closed on you, but... Yeah, but the autopsy report says otherwise, and obviously it's like he, he flipped out of it after... This it was... area is reserved for prosecutors. Defense attorneys are relegated to B-block. the heck? I dream of the day when I'll be able to park my car here. I'll go over to B-block to buy my hamburgers from you, Mr. Wright. I'm not planning on giving up my job that soon. By the way, Phoenix, you're supposed to be running the wet noodle. You agree, you promised the boat shop bike owner last case that you would. Yeah. Well, maybe maybe he's doing that part time. I guess that's true. Otherwise, Maya's doing that in addition to her training under waterfalls. That sounds really cold. Here, a phone. Let's see if it works. Why is the game audio lagging so much? Hey, don't touch stuff we don't need to be touching. Oh, that's right. We've already done this. We did that last episode. He's like, howdy, partner. Oh. So, there's no connection between Detective Gum Goodman and my sister. That's correct, but... There's a gold mine of evidence against her. Seriously, this is running at like a quarter of the speed it normally does. And the prospector <laughs> tomorrow is none other than Edgeworth himself. Hang on a second. If we do that, will it speed up? Yeah, okay. I'm afraid your sister's fate is decided, Bambina. Many condolences. Officer Marshall! Yeah, Bambina? H how can you say that? You and my sister, you were- Oh, did they date? Oh! That would be Is there hysterical. something between this cop and her sister that I don't know about? That would be hysterical, honestly. She's like, yes, I dated a cowboy. And he's like, I'm sorry, Bambina. I apologize, Bambina. <laughs> Something must have gotten to me. Maybe it's that dry wind that's a blowing through the prospector's office. Dry wind or ill will. Something's up to or something. Someone's up to something here, but who? Oh, this atmosphere. <laughs> Suspicions about Mr. Edgeworth have been flying around for nearly two years now. Forged evidence, arranging testimonies, you name it. He was unbeatable because he did whatever it took to win. Unbeatable, that is, until he met you. But rumors are just rumors, aren't they? These are prosecutors we're talking about. Evidence is everything to them. If you follow the rumors about Edgeworth to their source, you find one person. But they're off limits. Untouchable, you might say. One person? Who? Bambina, it's your sister. Chief Prospector Lana Skye. What? My sister? Edgeworth couldn't rustle all those cattle by himself. Some people load their guns with bullets, some people load them with deals. What? You're saying Edgeworth was making deals to win trials? Oh, I can see that. Where there's gunshots, there's bound to be bullets. That's what the old-timers say. 
in Texas. <laughs> <laughs> There's a big old secret hidden around here somewhere. Everyone knows it. Is that why Detective Gumshoe was taken off the case? Did they target him because he was closest to Edgeworth? I can see that. Oh, that's interesting. Why would we present it to him? My sister's cell phone. Last time it was used was 518, right after Goodman was killed. Maybe she was canceling her date for the night. <laughs> wow. Why did Mana make that call? Maybe she was like, uh, I just called the police. So we're at murdered. the point where I'm like, I don't know what we're supposed to do to proceed, because I feel like we should have proceeded by now. No, it's no, I did not examine the phone. I examined the partition between Maybe the phone. Maybe we have to go back to the, the detectives. No, this is the last place we're here for the day. This is where the cars leave the lot. Oh, wait, nope. <laughs> I've got to write this down. <laughs> Mr. Relativity? Yeah, Mr. Relativity. Maybe there's more to the car that we haven't examined? Oh, here we go, yep. What's this? Looks like a note of some sort. 6 minus 75, 12 over 2. Okay. Look! Something's written on it! You're right. Let's see. 6, 7, S, 12, 2. Oh, it looked like a 5. Well, it could be a 5, I suppose. There's a name written on the paper above that. Goodman. Maybe it fell out of his pocket when he was killed. Well, so, what does it mean, Mr. Wright? How am I supposed to know? Note to self. For deductive reasoning, go to Edgeworth, not Wright. I'm sure Edgeworth wouldn't know what this means either. Goodman's note added to the court record. Alright, that's it. So, well, how are we doing, Mr. Wright? I guess we've got some clues. We have an autopsy report, a note from the victim, and a cell phone. So, you think we'll be okay? Well, the only thing still bothering me is that Lana is confessing to the crime. She says she did it. No problem. I can guarantee that she's not the criminal. Oh, by the way, Emma? Yes? I know that song your phone plays when it rains. What? It's the Seal Samurai theme song, isn't it? That popular TV show for kids? The phone that just rained wasn't mine. It was yours. At 518, just after the murder took place. Your sister called you, didn't she, Emma? Yeah. I I'm sorry! Can you tell me what you talked about? I... She hung up right away. I see. Cell phone added to the court record. So added to the court record, eh. Uh. The detective is murdered, and the suspect is the top prosecutor in the district. I've got a bad feeling about this. Like, maybe I still don't know everything that went on here. Be continued. Well, that investigation was way longer I was than I remember. Like, Holy like cow! An hour. And that was just part two. Dude, part dude, one was dude. like at least a half hour, and also tomorrow's trial is one of the longest trials like ever. Well, no, not oh, no, it's boy. not. It's really well no, it's gonna need at least three episodes. Is that does that mean like an hour and a half, or does that mean like two hours? Probably two hours. Anyways, hope to see you next time. Until we meet again. Have a great day and God bless.